the FDA is currently considering approval of a drug called phlebanserin, which is designed to increase libido in women. I'm Dr. Mary J. Minkin, and this is my expert opinion. Uh, in the press, this drug has been referred to as the female Viagra, and certainly it is a drug that is involved in sexual issues. However, Viagra is a drug that is designed for men to improve erectile dysfunction. What women uh, do suffer from, at least many women do suffer from, is a problem with decreased desire, that they don't have the desire for sexual activity. A standard line that I am told by many of my patients is, once I get going, I'm fine. It's just I could care less to get going in the first place. The drug really is designed to increase interest in having a sexual experience, not so much a performance uh, driver. It's not so much of a drug that will increase orgasmic response. There are many reasons why a woman has problems with libido. First of all, some women are just plain uncomfortable with intercourse. It hurts. And obviously, if somebody's having pain, she's not going to want to have sex. Many women are not involved in great relationships. Many women have significant stressors in their lives. They're dealing with work issues. They're dealing with familial issues. So there are a lot of problems that can be out there. And unfortunately, in this country, many of us are looking for a pill to take care of all problems. And most of these other kinds of problems won't be taken care of by a simple pill. The way the drug is supposed to work is actually centrally in the brain, and it's supposed to activate or work with brain chemicals, things like dopamine and serotonin, to sort of make women want to have sex more. Flabanserin is designed to be taken every day, whereas a drug, for example, like Viagra, is a drug that you take before you want to have sex. So if you want to have sex Saturday night, you're going to take Viagra Saturday night, whereas something like Flabanserin needs to accumulate. The major adverse side effects that have been noted with the use of flibanserin, um have been related to things like uh, dizziness, lightheadedness, nausea, things of that nature, um, which can occur. And one of the concerns that people do have is that these may be exacerbated by drinking, by drinking alcohol. And of course, many of us do know that in romantic situations, many folks do drink. Will I recommend this drug to my patients? Will I prescribe it? I think it's a reasonable drug. Um, obviously, uh, there are some side effects, which we will discuss, um, and we'll talk about its usage. Um, but I would strongly encourage my patients not to take it uh, to improve a relationship. That I think that if there are relationship issues, communications issues, stressors in one's life, those need to be dealt with separately. Um, but for somebody who says, you know, gee, really everything's going pretty well, I just have really significantly decreased libido, I think it's quite reasonable to try it and I would hope it would work for her. <music>